As I mentioned earlier, past and present parishioners of this parish recently gathered to commemorate the 50th anniversary of its founding. Springfield Bishop Timothy McDonnell celebrated the Mass marking a half century of worship. Julie Bollier was there and shares with us now the rich history of this young parish. Past and present unite in this Mass, celebrated by Bishop Timothy McDonnell, along with con celebrants Father Mark Glover, parish administrator, Father Charles Garnett, former pastor, and Father Daniel Brunton, also former pastor, honoring the 50th anniversary of the founding of St. Catherine of Siena Parish. Because this parish is so young, many original parishioners were here to celebrate. I feel a lot older than I did 50 years ago, but anyway, uh, it, it's, it's really nice to have that milestone. And uh, I just wish a lot more of the, the old gang was here, and uh, we've talked to some that just can't be here tonight. Fortunately, many original parishioners, who were just starting families in 1961, did come out to celebrate, like Dick Butler and Betty D'Agostino. I've been a parishioner since before the church was built, when we were still having mass down at uh, Warner School Gym. And uh, it was a proud day when they did build the church. My well, wife and I uh, have been here in the parish since day one. Uh, we were at the Lady of Sacred Heart when the parish was split off. And uh, we literally were here uh, from the first shovel full uh, until today. Uh, I, I think my fondest memories of this parish are basically the people that we've worked with. Think of how it all began 50 years ago, 1961. Let me take you back to 1961. Later it would be known as the era of happy days, the television program that looked nostalgically on the late 50s and early 60s. It was just one year in that era but a very special one. In October of 1961, Bishop Christopher Weldon announced the establishment of two new parishes in the 16-acre Forest Park sections of Springfield. The two new parishes became St. Patrick's and St. Catherine of Siena. Founding pastor Father Thomas Griffin named the parish after St. Catherine Benicassa, who lived in the 14th century and is the patroness of Italy. By the way, his mother shares the same name. The design, in part, replicates that of European cathedrals from medieval times. This stainless steel gate that once housed the baptismal font now serves as a library for today's parishioners. Great things were later accomplished under the leadership of Father Charles Garnet, the parish center's namesake, who served at St. Catherine's from 1982 until 2002. You know, paying off the debt of the parish, which was close to 390000 when we first came here, and then adding to the rectory, and then helping with the people to construct this edifice here. And parishioners say that the Father Garnet Parish Center has been put to good use and has housed many memories. Oh, all the picnics that they had, and uh, different uh, spaghetti suppers, strawberry suppers, and um, things like that. And the children making their first communions and confirmations here. Father Daniel Brunton had ties to this parish long before he became pastor. I remember 1961, I was ordained one year. I was ordained in 1960, so in 61 when they formed this parish. I was very happy because Father Griffin was a, known to be a wonderful man and a wonderful pastor. And I had an uncle who, one of the first bearers from this church, my Uncle Dennis, was here. Uh, he was principal of the trade school in Springfield in those days, evening principal of the evening school. And that was well, my first really introduction to St. Catherine of Siena. And then after Monsignor Divine uh, left to go to Long Meadow, I was appointed uh, as pastor here in Arch 17, St. Patrick's Day, 1979. Current parish administrator, Father Mark Glover, is honored to be part of this milestone.
Well, I'm certainly thrilled to be part of St. Catherine of Siena. It's a great parish family. Uh, we all support one another. We're really there for each other. To be part of this celebration is a wonderful opportunity. You don't get to celebrate 50 years very often. And here's to the next 50 years. This is Julie Bollier reporting for Real to Real.